Ayo! What is going on guys? It is your boy Jacob here. Back at it again with another video. Sorry that it's uh, been a 10 day time frame since I've uploaded another video and those were just shorts. Um, I am going to get back onto the three three videos a week that I promised uh, 100%. I, uh, this, this last week was a little busy. Those last 10 days, I had a few things come up, but I am back at it and I can't wait. Cause, uh, not this weekend, but next weekend I have, you know, I'm a vendor. I do a lot of shows, but I think I'm going to step back from actually vending, setting up tables at the shows. And I think I'm going to go around and do a couple of shows myself, like shop around, you know, try and make some trades or whatever I can do, you know, network some, um, what's it called? I think that's going to be awesome. So I'm definitely going to, you know, capture some moments of that on camera and edit that together and make a little good video for you guys that way because i see you know that the sports card show videos are coming up a lot and i do go to those a lot and i enjoy going to them and i usually do like instagram live sometimes but now i'm gonna start doing the youtubes so what's it called without further ado let's go ahead and get into this i started without forgetting i almost opened all these without freaking even getting on camera because i had an illusions football and another absolute and I ripped them and opened this one and then realized, like, what? Well, I'm supposed to be doing a video, man. <laughs> so uh, nothing good out of the other two. This was the highlight, pretty much, from the Illusions football. And then out of the absolute, the best thing was a, a Rookie Materials Chubba Hubbard, which, not bad. I like patch cards, you know. I love numbered patch cards, but patch cards are patch cards. So we go with that. But, yeah, let's set this off this side. Let's start getting this going. I hope all you guys are having a lovely week so far. I hope you guys had a great President's Day yesterday. You know, I, you know, I'm personally cool with uh, an extra chill day, so that's what that was for me, pretty much. Okay, I see a Joe Burrow in the back there. Pretty cool. All righty, all righty. I can't see the name. All right, there we go. Pat Freemer, Gary Brightwell, Armand Ron St. Brown. Ooh, a red zone Travis Kelsey. That's pretty cool. Alright. DJ Chark. I'm a Jags fan. I hope he does something this next upcoming season. And Joe Burrow. I definitely hope uh we can get a good offensive line for Trevor. If we could get a great offensive line for Trevor, man. Oh dude. We'd be alright. So Trevor would just have to trust his offensive line and not run around he runs around a little too much sometimes but what could you do last year you know when you have a uh, line like that kyle pitts that's a pretty cool one. Ooh, the stargazing tom brady i'll sleeve that up gotta collect it brady now until he comes back i think he will come back to be honest i don't think he'll pull a far though so i think i think he'll come back this year still i think uh he'll figure it out sometime during the summer i believe but uh Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm also on the race to 150 subscribers. So I'm going to do like a, a little giveaway for that, I guess, you know. Um, all you really got to do is subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video and then just comment on the video saying that you did. And then, boom, you're entered. I'll pick the winner from the comments. I'll generate the winner through that. So what's it called? Or, well, I'll, I guess I'll generate it through the subscribers. Um but, you know, comment down on there to let me know that you're in there so I can make sure that everybody's name is in there. So, you know, it's only 150, so it won't be hard for me to go through and, like, manually look and make sure everybody's name is on there before I generate it. But, uh, what's it called? Yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. You know, I see a lot of people do the giveaways and all that, and, you know, I, I got uh, some stuff that I could give away, I guess, you know? So... It seems fun. It seems fun, and it's a way to bring in, you know, people, I guess. So, I just want, you know, to get out there and be able to network, have a little friendly community myself. It sounds like a fun idea to me. Okay, we got an Unsung Heroes, Chris Jones. It's pretty cool. Just set that off to the side for now. But, yeah, what's it called? Um... Comment down below which team your favorite team is and uh, which cards you're trying to collect for your PC right now. I'm definitely interested to see what uh, people's PCs are, like who they are like interested in getting the most, you know. I, right now, am all for 
Trey Young. I mean, I've always been for Trey Young. I, I have a lot of Trey Young. And then I'm trying to collect some more LaMelo. And then on the football side of things, it's 100% Trevor Lawrence. And I do like Justin Herbert cards too. And um, I guess there's a few other, but we do do baseball every once in a while. I, I'm not like super, super in tune with baseball though. So like I just, you know, I don't want to, ooh, there we go, another Jamar Chase. I guess it's just been Jamar Chase day for us. Heck yeah. Alrighty, I'll have to sleeve all these up at the end of this blaster for sure. What's it called? Um, Hunter Henry. Uh, he's that touchdown or bust guy. I had him on my fantasy this year, man. I messed up. I really thought, you know, he was going to get tight end one, but he shared it all year long, so... Which is still good, you know, because, you know, you have Bill Belichick as your coach and he's going to make his quarterbacks throw the ball 500 times a year. So you're going to get your opportunities there regardless of being a first string or third string. But, you know. Okay, okay. Javante Williams, Seth Williams. Um, I'm not too sure. I think I know somebody who said they went to... Uh, what's it called, a party one time in Orlando and seen him there. But I'm not, I'm not that's not 100%. Ooh, Justin Herbert Green. Sleeve that one off to the side. My son collects Patrick Mahomes cards. Look, two of them back to back. What? That's pretty cool. Pretty crazy little mistake right there. But hey, it happens, right? You know? But, um, you know, I, back on like the subject of me posting consistently, I 100% want to start posting at least three or four times a week i mean i love youtube i've been on it like you can see my videos all over i've been on youtube with all my mini channels since like 2007 and i love youtube you know when i first got on it i started doing like little you know like not necessarily pranks but like like kind of like almost like um like johnny knoxville and steve-o kind of things you know um so that was the kind of things that we like to do as in kids as a neighborhood you know we would like do like like jumping on the house onto a trampoline or gone wrong or something like that or a guy racks himself on toy car and he'd like jump over a freaking uh you know like a big tonka truck or something and then fall or something like just little videos like that then i got into like trying to do like um like music for a little while not like rapping or anything like that but i did try to like produce beats for a little while that, that was like the 2012 2013 jacob <laughs> and uh now you know i'm on here doing what i really really love doing and that's you know cards and stuff it's my hobby and then i guess somewhat uh, I, I rely a little bit on it for income, I guess. So I do like two or three shows a month. And I mean, sometimes I do all right. So I would say it's maybe a little bit more than a hobby for me. Um, I, where I'm located, I you know, we try and uh, get, what's it called? We're trying to get like a store, me and my partner. And if we could, that would be super, super cool. You know, if I had like a YouTube studio store, plus, you know, like you could walk in and stuff and shop, whatever. But you know, there's many, many things for that because like 100% um, distributing, that's that's really hard to get a distributor. I've tried on that for a year now and uh, super, super hard. Tried like GTS, tried Excel, tried Anderson, tried pretty much everything <laughs> that, you know, almost everything. We've even, like we got accepted for Fairfield, but that was when Fairfield was just doing the jumbo boxes. But before they rebranded them little jumbo boxes and put like, you know, good packs in it. Ooh, Trevor Lawrence, there we go, there we go. That's who I'm collecting, baby. Put them right there. But uh, yeah, they would put them in, what's it called? I guess um, they put those like 2018 Don Russ, all that kind of stuff. Before they would just put like old team set, like 90s team sets with like 60 cards. Now they only put like, I think like 20 cards and the pack in there which you have the chance to get in a fat pack and stuff. So that's amazing now. And it's like five bucks, like $5.99 at Walgreens and stuff. So if you got a local Walgreens, it's definitely worth checking out. You know, I've, I've come to find out that not all of them sell it though. Like I've, in my area, you know, I live in a pretty big area and um, I guess, you know, some people have made fools of themselves out here. So some of the stores out here, 
just don't sell the cards anymore. They'd rather not deal with the problems no matter how much money it breaks in for them. And that's like most of the cases with all the dollar stores out here. All the Dollar Trees, Dollar Generals, Family Dollars out here. If you find one, it's because you're friends with the manager and they hit you up and they left it in the, the, you know, the back and you just came and picked it up or something. So that's the case, and that's the case with that out here. But Walmart and Target, you know, uh, we have Hobby Lobby, we have all that kind of stuff. That's all fair game, you know. We got a few card shops out here and stuff. Um, so, ooh, Buy Storm Justin Fields, I do not have that yet, so I will add that into the PC. Teddy Bridgewater, you know, I believe in him. I believe in him. He has uh, ups and downs and stuff, but I do believe that if, you know, I, I don't know. I believe, I believe he's the man. I do. But, you know, I guess, uh, what's it called? You know, if they get Aaron Rodgers, like, like everybody's saying and stuff like that, then Teddy's, you know, I don't know. I don't even know if he's set to be a free agent this year or not like that. I haven't checked into that too much. I just know, like... He was promising in certain aspects and stuff like that, and he's a decent scrambler and stuff, but he really can pass super good, too, so it's just, I don't know. He, um, like, if you look at his reaction time and stuff, Bucky breaks it down really, really good on the NFL channel. Um, just pretty much talks about, like, how he's not poised when he's in the pocket and how he, like, he scrambles, but when he scrambles, he's uncoordinated, like, he's not really... He doesn't have an idea. Like, when most scrambling quarterbacks take off, they, you know, they, like, eye patch of grass, like, lock onto a patch of eye grass, and then they take off running straight to that, you know, and then they'll knee or they'll do whatever the case is. But he, I don't know, I guess Bucky breaks it down as if he's, like, kind of uncoordinated when he runs or something. And that's not me, you know, that's, that's Bucky Brooks' opinion. Uh, it's just on a YouTube channel. I think it's like six or seven months old now, so you'd have to do some scrolling. But uh, it's on there for sure. But, yeah, I don't know. I believe in him. I think he'll do good. But, yeah, um, what's it called? I do hope – I have a couple hobby boxes coming in, hopefully within like a week or two. So once they do, then I'm going to definitely be on the channel ripping them – posting some good content then hopefully we can get us some rookie rpas or something i got um i think i got two basketball and two football coming in so i for the most part have been ooh, stargazing my son's gonna love that i for the most part have been in the um you know the retail part of the game only opened like i've been doing cards for like seven eight years but i've been collecting all my life but i feel like i've been doing cards like this for like seven eight years now and What's it called? I think I've only opened maybe 10 or 15, probably just 10, maybe 11 hobby boxes in my whole, like, shebang. So I want to do way more this year. And when I do the way more this year, I don't know if you guys want Kid Reporters. It's obviously, you know, I, I wish they would stop putting the Kid Reporters in. I think I um seen them put the Kid Reporters in the Rookies and Stars, I believe. And... The Rookies and Stars is after the Super Bowl, so I'm not too sure if, uh, I'm not too sure, but I do believe, I think, the reason why I'm saying I'm not too sure and I'm kind of hesitant is because I think you might be able to still use these and put your code in for the next Super Bowl. I'm not 100% sure. If anybody knows on that, definitely comment down below. I, shit, I'll, I'll definitely want to know that anytime. Sorry for my language. But, um, what's it called? Philip Lindsay. I hear my, my dog is back there scratching his back. So I have this little puppy, right? And he, he's not a puppy. He's like 10 now. But he's a small little dog. And he's got like his mind of his own that just does his own thing, man. He gets zoned in watching TV. And what's it called? He has this little chair that... You know, people sit in sometimes, uh, you know, pull it up to the dinner table and all that. But he, he goes up to the bottom of it and just scratches his back on it. Like, he got his own back scratcher. And then he'll just... <laughs> and it's so, it's so annoying. And then when he gets in, <laughs> when he gets in a good scratch, oh man, then he gets so loud. He's like... <laughs> like, like he's got a good scratch going. He's like, oh, there we are. There's the spot. Yes, sir. But, uh, yeah, all right, so we are on our last pack. So far, it has been 
a dud. We have not pulled anything super great yet. So, you know, it's ambitious to say last pack will save us, but uh, let's hope that last pack saves us. <laughs> if not, you know, the moral of the story is you win some, you lose some, but you have a lot of fun doing it. Alrighty. Yep, my dog has hit the spot. He's back there. Rawr, rawr, rawr now. So, what's it called? I guess Chris Evans. Yep, nope, 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 nope. So, I guess the highlight of the packs is Stargazing Patrick. Red Zone Tyreek Hill, or Tyreek Hill, By Storm Justin Fields, Ian Book Introductions, Trevor Lawrence Rookie, Stargazing Tom Brady, Chris Jones Unsung Hero, Introductions Jamar Chase, which I really like that, a Green Absolute Justin Herbert, and a By Storm Ian Book. So, moral of the story is you had a lot of fun, we had a lot of fun, I hope you guys really had a lot of fun with me. Um, I probably, I might even post another video tomorrow because I have a whole bunch of stuff that I still, you know, like just want to rip. I just, I haven't ripped in a while. You know, I've been just focused on, you know, pretty much stockpiling and, you know, selling and flipping of singles and trying to get slabs. So, uh, I do want to do videos like that too. Like when my PSA cards come in and also like when any other graded cards come in and stuff, I want to do all them kinds of videos. So if, if you're into any of them kinds of videos, even Pokemon or anything like that, if you're into any of them kinds of videos, you can comment down below and tell me, like, great ideas, like what you think I should, you know, do next. And, I, you know, I'll 100% give credit to you. I'll put your name in the beginning of every video. Credit thanks to blah, 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 you know. Um, so, you know, I want to be as engaging with my community as if I was a member of my community watching, you know, somebody else or something, which I am a member of a hundred different communities. So I just want to, you know, share the love and, you know, maybe receive a little love, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, yeah, as always, thank you guys for tuning in with me and watching another banger. And I cannot wait to be in the next one with you guys. Peace.